All right, Toki Back. We're here for a toolbox tour, and you've got your toolbox here. And uh, we start off at the very top of this tour with some tape. On the top. <coughs> yeah, actually duct tape. You know, duct tape the the best mender for body work any anywhere in the business. <laughs> and uh, you know, wheel weights and stuff when you check your balance. So yeah. it's always got to be handy and ready to grab. Um, we actually carry two sets of tools. You know, you see our box at the wall. We have a set there and a set here. So all your basic tools are at both ends. For me, you know, I'm doing it by myself a lot. I got uh, duplicates on both ends, so I don't have to re remember to bring everything down there. I have one set of suspension tools, which I carry back and forth in my tray, but otherwise, um, there's duplicate tools in this box that's down at the wall. All right, so I see hanging off, let's start off there on the end there, a hanging off a set of T-handles, and you guys seem to live and die by the T-handle. Yeah, Motion Pro makes a T-handle, T-handle rack, perfect spot for it on the side of the box. They make everything. They make uh, socket ends, Allen ends, and ends you can plug a different size socket on, like a quarter-inch drive T-handle and a three-eighths drive T-handle. You got Allen ends with one shorter side for breaking it and one ball side for spinning it off. You know, so you get a little leverage for breaking it with the short T long handle for getting it loose, and then this the ball for a different angle and spinning it real quick to come off. My top drawer is basically screwdrivers, uh, files, picks, and um, you know, basically straight objects for prying. M magnet stick. Uh, I got my. Um, Pick set for uh, pulling uh, small clips, um, like doing your brakes. When you clean your brakes, you pull the small E clips out. Uh, just getting so in a tight little spot. Are we talking about this thing or something yep, like that? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's got a little hook. You can get in there where your fingers won't reach and get the clips out, then get the keeper pin out. There's got two E clips on the front brakes of the R6 that like are safeties, yeah, yeah. and you you pull those out with the with the pick, and um, then you can slide the pin out, and then disassemble, clean, and reassemble. So you got your regular screwdrivers, you know, um, some memory cloth, toothbrush for cleaning calipers, you know, got to have that. Uh, magnetic wrench, air chuck for the tools, and everything's cut in in place. Got the toolbox foam, which uh, we bought at Foam Mart and cut it in ourselves. And then, so everything is kind of, you know when it's missing. You see an empty spot for my tape and my uh, three millimeter Allen, but those stay in my tub for full-time use around the day. Here, this end and that end, I carry a little tub with everything. And we only bring what we need, you know, we bring files, screwdrivers, a punch. You don't have, like this is a two out of a set of five or six. You don't need five or six, you need what you need. We're talking you, that you were pointing to punches. Punches, yeah. File, you might need three different files, you know, for taking sharp edges off, cleaning the thread up. So you got your thread file here, a triangular one. Yeah. You got round file for getting in a hole and a little rougher round file. Body work, anything that gets a sharp edge on it. Different size screwdrivers, but you don't need you know, some screwdrivers come with a 20 yeah. <laughs> Phillips set. You don't need 20 screwdrivers. I have this nice Teflon piece here. That's for pulling wheel weights, will not scratch your wheel. And it's a Volkswagen. My dad gave that to me. This drawer is my wrench drawer. You know, you get a wrench set, it's from eight to 19. Well, bikes don't have 13 nuts on them. They don't have 13 bolts on them. They don't have 15 bolts on them. So you only bring 19, which is suspension, 17, which is a normal nut, 14, 12, 10, and 8. You know, you bring it in a regular wrench, then you bring it in a, a folding wrench for getting those special angles. Um, then, no, wait, let's, so you know, this is a folding wrench where you're talking about, I can yeah. get in there and do that. Yep. You know, if you ever wanted to do something by yourself, this folds and it ratches around, or folds this way, it ratches around and toggles, and if you're on this side of the bolt, there's the nut, it holds itself. And that's something I've learned about taking the suspension off the R6. This is 17 folding wrench is the, the, the item to have. You know. we got uh, a Yamaha suspension tool. Uh, it's actually, I'm sorry, it's both. On a dirt bike suspension tool, on R6, it's the top uh, ca um, clamp nuts, which are spanner. So this spanner spans those to loosen and tighten them. And then we use a socket for torquing them. Just makes it quick and easy access for that tool, which is, you know, you need here. 24 is the bottom of the shock. You don't need a 27, you don't need a bunch of range because there's only one nut that big here that needs adjusting. Yeah. It's usually, it's actually two, that's why I have two of them uh, on the bottom of the um, Olin shock. Speed wrench for doing stuff fast and then your air gauge. 
When, now, wait, when you say speed wrench, this is the one where, like, we see you guys putting this on the, the top of the fork and going... Rrr, 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 yeah, rrr. yeah, so, so it's basically got a, a pivot handle, yeah. so you can just, you know, and you count your turns. Yeah. You put the 14 millimeter socket on there, count your turns, take it all the way out, put it back in, know how, how much preload you have. Makes it real fast. I actually have one at each end. I have one in my tub at that end, and I got one here always, in case the bike comes back and the tool tub doesn't. <laughs> you know, the, the, the Motion Pro quarter inch drive, so you can put any quarter inch socket on there. Cool. Um, impact, in case something's too tight, hand impact, um, you know, for those tight spots where you can't get a big headed air impact or electric impact in there. That's always handy. Never really use it, but if you don't have it, you'll need it. You'll need it. And that's basically that drawer. And uh, this is the plier and cutter drawer. You know, Snap on sells a set of uh, cutters, and you'll have you know three sizes of cutters, three sizes of pliers, blah blah blah. You know, you don't need all them. You need cutters. You need pliers. You need two sets of needle nose. You need a uh, circlip tool, and this is adjustable to go either way. Yeah. There's only a couple of circlips on the R6, and this covers both. So I didn't need any others, and I got the full Snap on box. I think there's 20 of these in my Snap on set. Not to just get the one, obviously other bikes you know, that we've had over the years. And then your flush cuts, you know, you gotta have these. When you cut zip ties off and you cut them flush, you reach in, you'll never get scratched or stabbed by a sharp piece of plastic. And then a dead blow hammer, in case you have to use it, you would hope you never have to use any hammers, and a regular hammer. And then uh, the socket drawer. Um, I carry myself uh, three different torque wrenches. Two are in my tub right now. I got the axle torque wrench. I got uh, the smaller nut uh, newton meter uh, torque wrench, and then I got medium newton meter torque wrench for pinch bolts and stuff. You got your um, sockets for the axles, sockets for the counter shaft nut, uh, and then uh, miscellaneous sockets. The bike has few bigger bolts in a couple of spots. That if you have to pull a swing arm, if you have to pull a, the link underneath, you might need a socket for that. We do change links sometimes on these bikes for a different ratio in the back. And then the, the nut on top of the triple clamp, I got that socket, 10, 12, 14, 17, and 19. And then Not a 16. No 16s, no 15s, no 13s. Normally bikes are even numbers. Um, other than like a 27 on the axle. Um, the R axles are custom made by Graves, they are 27. And then you get your different Allens, you know, you got long Allens, you know, five, four, five, six, and eight in, in quarter inch, three eighths, and uh, that's all I have, 3 8 right? But I have short and long ones of both, both of those. And um, then the Yamaha tool for tightening the, um, the. If you ever change the uh, swing arm, you got to torque that. It's real specific how it tightens and torques because it's got an inner thread in the frame and an outer nut that this spanner works on. It's, it's real key because it will bind if you don't, and there's a sensitive needle bearing there. And that's that drawer basically. The bottom drawer usually ends up being the junk drawer, but I organized it just for you guys. No, it's a couple races ago. We, you know, you, you might have to drill rivets. You might have to safety wire something. So we carry a couple of drills with a couple of batteries. I got electric impact for pulling the axles. So I got the spare battery and the charger, chain tools, and a, an air impact just in case. I got my uh, fuel siphon, which usually goes in multiple drawers, but it ended up in that drawer today. Um, yeah, because you guys uh, pull the fuel out and measure the fuel, see what your fuel loads are. Yeah, you um, you don't want to run a full tank, but if you can, you want to run, you know, the right amount plus a couple liters. And so, you know, the Yamaha guys, I ask them what they run, and they tell me, and we kind of bounce it off each other, getting about 0.52 liter a lap. Then you add that by 26 laps, counting the pre-laps and the post-laps. You know, say so, okay, plus two, and then that's where you get your liters for doing the race and not running out key not running out <laughs> all righty well thank you very much toki this welcome. was fantastic thank you